don't want to be me. Feel that pressure pushing on me. All right, we're here with Steph Lang, and Steph is, I guess, from you're from Vancouver area. Yes. Okay. I'm from Vancouver, but grew up on Vancouver Island. Right. So uh, now here's something interesting. You have been driving all across the country. This is your second time going across the country. Um, the last time you took like a bus and and cabbed and hitchhiked and that sort of thing. <laughs> this time you're you have a van. Yes. With your name all over it, and and yes. you're driving it across Canada, I visiting am. different spots, and you've come to Barrie. Yes. So uh, how, how's the adventure been so far? The adventure has been definitely adventurous. I've been stopping in different parking lots to cook my meals. <laughs> I've been taking naps on the side of the road. Um, you know, it's just been a little bit of everything. You know, you meet new people and you're always in a new city. And uh, yeah, but it's rough too. Like I, as much fun as it is, it's 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 hard. <laughs> but see, like you're doing it. Uh, you know, you're 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 just doing it. Uh, and uh, the thing is, with with singer songwriters, sometimes you know they they have uh, other people sort of behind them and stuff too. You're you're kind of just you're self motivating. You're you're going to to do this sort of thing, right? Yeah. Well, I, I, especially in this industry, you have to do things for yourself. You have to be proactive. People won't do things for you. So, um, yeah, I'm all about you know, trucking through the trenches and, and getting things done and making opportunities for myself. And it's always nice to stop in and, you know, see the stations that are supporting. And obviously B101 is a huge supporter, so I appreciate that. And it's nice to see you again, because this is the second time I've seen you. Yes, yeah. So, and, uh, yeah. And, and the thing is about, uh, I know you had an album out before, and, uh, you know, success with the songs uh, Mr. Mature and Slave to Love. Mm -hmm. Now, this time around, a new album and something different with this album, right? Uh, what yes. if you go to your website? Yeah, if I'm going to the website, you can get my record for free. For free? Yeah. So I'm giving it away completely for free. And you're is... like Oprah. You're giving it away. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so here's the interesting part. It, it's on iTunes, and you can purchase it if you want to support. That's all about content, and it's all about being accessible. So that's what I wanted to do with the music now, and just give it away, give it to the people, and then um, build my relationship with my fans that way, because that's that's more valuable to me. Now, you're a singer, songwriter, but you, you also do many other things, too, and, and uh, you've been dabbling, I guess, in production a lot more, right? Yes. Um, I started learning how to run Logic when I was about 18, 19. So that's like production software? Yeah. Production software, yeah. Recording and, and, and producing tracks, like, you know, programming drums and bass and strings, everything about music. And, um, and I have a portable recording setup so I can record anywhere and program anywhere. So, and you know, this record and the last record I produced a lot of my own songs, but um, but yeah, I'm doing a lot more of it now, and I'm doing a lot of more co-writing with other people and writing hooks and and being able to be independent with that. So it's cool. Now you've uh, now let's let's kind of brag yourself a little bit. You've you've <laughs> you've had a lot of uh, celebrity encounters in the past, and okay. and recently in the past year you got to audition with L.A. Reid. I did. In New York, L.A. Reid, yeah. big guy in the entertainment industry, right? Yeah. Yeah, that was uh, the scariest thing I've ever done. Yeah, for sure. I told you it was just, just like surreal when I was playing in, a, in his office. I, I didn't feel like I was really there. And it was a really high pressure situation. So um, it's good because now anytime I face something else that's a little scary, I can look back and be like, okay, I survived this. So I can survive whatever else. So, <laughs> so yeah, it was a cool experience for sure. And now this is kind of going back a little bit. You, there is a connection with you and Britney Spears. Somehow, yes. yes. That's a very funny story, it and, and interesting, and and it's something that you could tell your kids down the road too. Totally. Uh, I was about thirteen, and I, I booked a commercial with Jamie Lynn Spears, her younger sister. Right. And it was just like a little toy karaoke thing. It's on YouTube. It's so embarrassing. I'm thirteen at the time. <laughs> I've got like little pigtails. It's pretty wicked. It's cute. Um, and she was on the set at, at, at the commercial. So um, yeah, I got to meet her and hang out with her and her sister and work with them and yeah it was a big big deal at the time for me <laughs> and, and you were like a massive Britney fan I was at the a time. big fan yeah I still am you know I, I really I'm really rooting for her and I, I love her music so. but you 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 restrained from going insane like oh my god Britney I've had a couple of those situations where I've like met people that I I admire and I try not to lose my hat so to speak, you know because <laughs> yeah. they deal with that all the time and you know I want to be professional and cool and not a crazy person so <laughs> But like afterwards, I'm like, ah! yeah. but while I'm there, I'm like, okay, I'm cool. So th that could be a marketing slogan right there, Steph Lang, not a crazy person. <laughs> I think that that sums it up.
perfectly. And of course, you can find more about Steph at uh, your website, yes. and of course, get your new album for free. For free. And yeah. what, what's, your, what's your website again? StephLang.ca. Thanks yeah. a lot for stopping by. Thanks for having me.